Welcome to another episode of VG Vim, Video Game Boys and Makeup. You see what I did there? Like, I'm making this a real series. I'm trying so hard. You see, this has been Yakuza Boys in Makeup this entire time, but you know, um, we gotta step things up a bit. Judgment's just completely different, isn't it? This was a highly requested video. As highly requested as my 0.2 subscriber channel can get. Thank you again to the literally held discord. They were the ones who requested this video. It's time to take Mr. Lumpy Face here. It's time to take Mr. Mr. Takuiki Yagami and make him smooth. He's looking milky. <laughs> you see, Yagami looks significantly more like a real person than most people in this series. Like, I, it makes me uncomfortable how much like a real person he looks. Like, we have unrealistically handsome Kaito. We've got Higashi, who just looks like Kyoya from Oran High School Host Club, but updated. And then, yeah. Yagami, with his eye bags. You know what we do here on the Prince Rosalium YouTube channel. We give the boys their fucking blushies. We need something that carves out his cheekbones. It's a little kawaii. He's looking a little kawaii. Are we giving him circle lenses? Because I think that he could benefit from them. I think we've had boys benefit from them in the past. Ah, yes. Geo Nudie Blues. I used to wear circle lenses back in the day. And that's why I know that these are Geo Nudie Blues. Because they were the only ones that came in my prescription. Because <laughs> my prescription is so high. I promise that his eyelashes are gonna cover the rest of it, I promise. I want some, like, really dolly lashes for him. I feel like I have a finished look in mind for him. Ew, that's very fluffy. He's got those minky lashes. I think that those look like he has a feather boa attached to his eyeball. Oh, that bitch Mafuyu doesn't know what she's missing right now. Wow, his eyes look really crazy with those circle lenses. I think I have regret. Let's not do his brows right now. Let's do some lips. He's gonna look gorgeous. He has really nice lips for, like, lipstick. You can tell where they end and where they start. And then when I adjust the opacity, it's gonna look like he just put on some Tony Moly watercolor lip tints. Look at that shaping. Yes, boy! Oof. Yeah! Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. That's perfect. All right, now it's time for some brow definition. You know what we do. We use this weird magic wand tool. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, what's a character that'll get me going? Let's do... Let's, let's, let's do Kaito. Let's save Yagami and let's do Kaito. Because I'm sick of staring into his nudie blues. <laughs> I want to see my little boy. I want to see my little boy. Yeah! Look at him. Oh, oh my god, he's so cute. I can't get over it. I'm, I'm having a fit. I'm blowing a fit. I'm blowing a fit. No, I'm blowing a fit. <gasps> when I first started playing Judgment, I was like, I can't tell if he's attractive or not. You know, like the same way I was with Ryuji. <laughs> Except Kaito is extremely gorgeous, and I feel ashamed of myself for thinking anything other than the fact that he's extremely gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, it's time. It's time to give Mr. Extremely Gorgeous a makeover. First of all, let's sharpen this image. Which one is sharpened? I oh that not that one. No, it's not. Is it this one? No, it's not. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Do some smoothing, even though he is very he's very smooth. I want to pet his little sideburns. So handsome. He's so handsome. Mr. Handsome and blush for my boy. Give the boy his blushies. Like I always do. Oh, oh he has little blushy on his cheek. He has little blushy on his cheek. I love him! He has little blushies on his cheek. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to adjust the opacity. 
You see, this really shows how snoffed he is. You see, he's got that eyebrow scar, he's got those big ol' sideburns, but he's really just a big, softy boy. <laughs> I wanna see Kaito's boobs! You know, we see plenty of Kiryu's boobs because he's always, like, ripping his shirt off, but I'm on, like, chapter 5 of Judgment and nobody has ripped their shirt off yet, and I think that that's a huge injustice. I feel like if Yagami rips off his shirt, he's just gonna have, like, lumpy face and very buff body. Oh my god, that's cute! <laughs> that's so adorable! I'm blowing a fit, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Every time I see Kaito, my brain just turns into some kind of weird heart monitor beeping noise and it's just like boop, boop, boop when all the other guys are on the screen. But then when Kaito comes on, it's just like boop. Yeah. <laughs> I was in my bed and I was right next to all of my, you know, my Majima stuff, all my pictures of Majima. And I was looking at a picture of Kaito and I try and talk out loud before I film anything so I can warm up my voice. Because in the last video, I noticed how many times I said like, and I didn't like that. <laughs> but I was sitting in my room, surrounded by all of my Majima pictures that I have on my walls. And I was looking right at the picture of Kaito that I am looking at right now. All I, read, all I know is that I looked at him and I thought, have you ever seen anyone more handsome in your life? And I looked up at all my Majima posters and I'm like, oh man, guys, I'm so sorry. Majima, it's okay, you're still the love of my life. Even if Kaito looks like this and acts like that and God is just generally Kaito. Majima's still the love of my life. You guys don't have to worry. We're still together. We are still betrothed. <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck? I wasn't expecting Kaito to look this fucking cute in eyelashes. You see, I was kind of expecting disappointment from Kaito. I was kind of thinking maybe he's too, like, ruggedly good-looking for a good pair of lashes. And I was so wrong because there's no way you can make Kaito look bad. Look at this man and tell me that there's a way you can make him look bad. To all my friends who don't think he's that attractive, you guys are literally blind. I'm not tiptoeing around it anymore. I'm not just saying like, you know, do you think he's attractive? Because I don't know. Like, fuck you. You're blind. If you don't see that Kaito is a beautiful, beautiful man, then you're fucking blind. You're straight up fucking blind. You're a fucking idiot. Look at that face! Look at that face! Look at it! Look at his face! Look at him! He's... 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 I don't know what the word is. There's not a word strong enough for me to describe how perfect Mr. Kaito is. Mr. Masaharu Kaito. <clears throat> God. God. I think he's finished. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, how you doing? He's the little baby in this picture. I had to get the one where he's got the glasses and they got the frames and they're not like the sunglasses. He's got these other sunglasses. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna put lashes on this guy. He might just need some blushies and some lipstick and some serious brow definition, dude. I already put a filter on him because I wasn't sure if the lighting in this picture was going to work so I wanted to make sure that it worked before I went into the makeup. I'm dying to know. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm absolutely on the floor, bleeding out. I'm wounded. I'm dying to know whether lashes are going to work on him or not. There's got to be a solution to this. We can't leave him unglamorousted. So as you guys probably see, I slip into this New York accent, and I have a very good explanation for that. You see, I am from New York. But it's not just because I'm from New York. You see, I have a regular person voice, yeah. But my mom is from Brooklyn, and my dad has kind of like a semi-southern accent. He's from Long Island, but he just kind of picked up this weird redneckness, and I, I don't know... It's probably from upstate. 
when I was younger, I used to... When I got angry, I used to pick up that like weird southern accent thing that he has. But now that I'm older, and I live with my mom because my parents got divorced, I just break into this weird New York accent. and You pick up things from your parents. And my mom was telling me the other day, Oh, I'm so glad that you, like, have sort of a New York accent, except you have to try to have it. And I'm like, no, Mom, I don't try to have it. It just kind of comes out. You see, when I first saw Higashi, so I, I am aware of the love, the absolute love there is for Higashi. And when I first started playing Judgment, I was like, okay, I'm trying to get into this. Everything looks all new and shiny, and I, I found it hard to get attached to the characters. And I'm like, who is this Higashi guy that everyone is talking about? Who is the famous Higashi that everyone will not shut up about? And when I met him, I was like, oh, I get it. I get it now. I get it now. He gave fucking money to a child. He is a good man. And he has kind of a soft looking face and cute little glasses. And I'm like, yeah, this is totally the type of character. We love men that show feeling and aren't fearless and are, 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 have, have depth. I think that's the word. What I'm saying is, is that it's cute that Higashi has so many feelings. And that is why we love him. It's time for lipstick. I didn't get that spot over there, I'm sorry, Higashi. Oh no! That's actually really nice. <laughs> I think he looks really nice. I think the Judgment Boys are very good for putting makeup on. I think his eyebrows need some work. I'm gonna put some fakies on him. They're so, like, weirdly plucked. I don't like it! What's with the weird halo around it? I don't like it! Oh, that's bad. I don't like it. Higashi, you're gonna have to live with the eyebrows. We'll give you some, some definitions in here. It just looks so incomplete with his eyebrows half done. But there's nothing I can do. Higashi. Oh, look at him. He's glowing. Let's do Sugiura. Dun, 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 dun. He's pretty. When he took off his mask, I'm just like, man, as soon as I saw the dyed hair, I was like, I swear to God, this guy's gonna look like a fucking host boy. He's gonna take off his mask. He's gonna be so cute. And I was correct. Even though now he's like kind of not my type when it comes to like faves. I don't know, man. Yakuza did something to me. I used to be known as like the person in my friend group that liked effeminate men. And then Yakuza hit me and knocked me for a loop. And I was like, wow, man. I like the buff, the buff boys. You know, though, um, I don't think it was just Yakuza. See, I used to be like the visual K person. I was really into J-Rock and I still am. Like I still have like a lot of favorite J-Rock idols and things like that. But I'm more of like a Kamijo Yoshiki type of person. Not really an underground visual K band person. But it's not because I am a basic bitch. I used to listen to those types of bands. But then, like, once you learn about the J-Rock industry and how really messed up it is, you stop wanting to listen to, like, the more underground groups. Because basically it's like, you take teenage boys who drop out of high school and, like, make them into these bands and they pretty much ruin their lives and they make it so they can't get a job at anywhere but a gas station because their hair is dyed and shit like that. Oh, and the producers are always hopped up on drugs. I don't want to support companies like that, so once I learned about all of that stuff, the effeminate J-Rock boy with heavy makeup and extremely, extremely elaborate clothes became kind of unattractive for me. I think I also just spent so many years 
completely going gaga over unrealistic men. I'm not saying that Kiryu and Majima are realistic examples of men and their bodies and everything. They're not realistic, but I don't know. I feel like Majima's face could be a real person's face kind of a thing. I feel like someone could realistically be as pretty as Majima. Like, he doesn't look like he is sculpted out of frozen yogurt. He looks like a real person. Although he does have kind of weird body standards. I think Sugiura <laughs> looks so cute. He looks so cute in this lipstick. I knew that he was going to turn out exceptionally pretty. Let's get some lashes on you. Maybe we'll put some nice eyeshadow. Oh. Oh, this is cute. That, my friends, is super adorable. We're gonna give him some wispy lashes. Some wispy lashes to go with his tropical summer look. Look at this. Doesn't this look like some Too Faced Peach Palette shit? I remember when the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette came out. And it was just, it was, it was everything that I ever wanted, I felt. And it was limited, and I didn't get one, and then when they, like, re-released it, I got one. And you know something? I barely used it. I was caught in that beauty guru culture of, holy fuck, I need to, I need to have this. I had, actually, I got it because I had a friend that really, really loved peaches. And, like, the motif of peaches. I, I like things that remind me of my friends that I love. I don't know how- I don't know, that sounds weird. It sounds like I, I was obsessed with her or something. I don't know, like, my boyfriend really likes One Piece, for example. And One Piece makes him so happy, and I watch it sometimes with him, but I'm not, like, into One Piece. Like, One Piece isn't my thing. I'm a shoujo person, I like to watch Rose of Versailles, and Onisamae, and Nana, and then cry myself to sleep. I'm not really like an I'm gonna be king of the pirates type of bitch. And also my producer really really loves One Piece. And so two people in my life love One Piece and it makes them so happy. So I have like a little keychain of Nami. It reminds me of my good friends. And I will get things that are One Piece. Like I have One Piece merch like just around because I like One Piece, I don't really watch it, but like, it reminds me of my friends that I love. I love Sugiura. The Amazon guy just came to my door and delivered a package, and it's actually the inside part of my Goromi body pillow. Body pillow case is going to come in a few days. I'm probably going to flip my shit when I get that. I think Sugiura, I think this looks like it was just supposed to be there. Is that all? That's all four of the boys. We've given them successful makeovers. They don't look as like weird and crusty as the last boys that I gave makeovers. I have like a projection of my next 10 videos that I put makeup on boys. This is it. This is my passion and I'm gonna run with it. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video.